Welcome back to Math We Know. Solve the system of equations. x cubed then plus y cubed equals 5. x squared plus y squared equals 3. It looks so easy. However, it isn't easy to solve anymore. The question comes. By using which method can we solve this question successfully? We don't know. It is actually difficult to say. However, by inspection, the right hand sides are both small numbers. And the left hand sides, hmm, the exponents, they are a little bit large. Hmm, 3 and 2, of course. For this kind of questions, our goal is try to write x cubed plus y cubed and x squared plus y squared, these two terms as a term of x times y and x plus y. And then, how to reach? And then, by using this formula, you have to memorize it. Memorize it now. Which formula is it? Of course, this formula. I'm going to write it small, 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 because there will be so many steps. I cannot bear it. Look. This formula, x plus y, or q, it is equal to x cubed plus y cubed, and then plus 3 times xy, and then times x plus y. So that's our first formula. So then, of course, our second formula will be the relationship among x squared plus y squared, x plus y, and x times y. Our goal is only to write x cubed plus y cubed and x squared plus y squared, these two terms, into terms about x times y and x plus y. The sum of x and y and the multiplication of x and y. So easy. So then, of course, we have to use this formula. x plus y square is equal to x squared then plus y squared and then plus 2 times x y. Of course now by using these two formulas we can rewrite our equations. The first equation can be written as look x cubed then plus y cubed it can be written as x plus y or cube minus 3xy and then times x plus y is equal to 5. And our second equation is x plus y or square minus 2 times xy is equal to 3. Now, these two equations has changed a lot. You can find out that these two equations are only two equations about the sum of x and y and the product of x and y. Now what can we do and what shall we do? Of course, substitutions. This system of equations will change a lot. Now I'm gonna let it Mm, these two guys. x plus y as a, and the product of x and y is b. So then what should we do? Of course, these two equations will turn into equations about a and b. a squared, no, sorry, a cubed, minus 3 times b then times a, it is 3ab. They're actually the same thing. On today, is equal to 5. And the second equation will turn into uh, a squared. Minus 2b is 3. Now, it is so nice. From which equation should we start? Of course, from the second one. From the second one, we can get that From the second equation, we can get that b is equal to a squared minus 3, then divided by 2. 
and then substitute this term into our first equation, and we can get a cubic equation about a. And we can get this cubic equation. Look, a cube minus 3 times a, then times b is equal to a squared minus 3 over 2 is equal to 5. Hmm. Nice, isn't it? A cube minus 3 times a, then times a squared. Hmm? What is it? Of course, it is a squared minus, I think, multiply on the both sides by 2 would be better. So let's multiply the both sides by 2 first. So here is 2 times a, a cube, and then minus, here would be 3 a cube. Here is minus, here is minus as well, so plus plus 9 is equal to 5 times 2, 10. Excellent! And then, simplify it further. Of course, you can get that. Here is minus a cube and then plus 9 is equal to 10. Then, you can get a cube minus 9 plus... Ah, sorry. Here, I forgot a thing. It is very, very important. Which thing is it? Of course, 9a. 3 times a times 3. Please, please, please don't forget it. 9 times a. And then, then plus 10 is equal to 0. Mm, perfect. How to solve this cubic equation about A? Oh, headache. Oh, stomachache. Don't be sick. I have a wonderful trick. It is called inspection. This equation has an integer root. It has an integer solution. Of course, when A is equal to 1, 1 minus 9 plus 10. Oh, it doesn't work. The equation doesn't hold. Of course, if a is equal to 2, you can find out that this equation holds. So what does it mean? Of course, it means that a is equal to 2 is one of the roots of this equation. a is equal to 2 is a root of this equation. 2 cubed minus 18 then plus 10 is equal to 0. Of course, the equation holds. It holds successfully. Of course, it means that the left hand side has to have this factor, a minus 2. The factorization of the left hand side will be a minus 2 and then times something. The right hand side is of course 0. Then we have two cases. Of course, when a minus 2 is equal to 0 and when uh, blah 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 is equal to 0. However, what's our work? Our work is we have to find out what this blah 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 is. If we add a number and then subtract it, then it will be factorized very, very, very quickly. And which number should we add? Of course, this number. We know that a minus 2 is one of the factors of the left side. So now, this is our clue. From this clue, we have to go back. To our factorization. To the step before the factorization. Of course, how can I use the grouping method? Of course, we know that 
negative 9a. If we can take out an a minus 2, of course, we lack a number. Which number? Plus 18. However, here is only plus 10. Now, it doesn't matter. Plus 10, we can plus 8 and then minus 8. So, it is plus 18 minus 8. We've added an 18 and then subtract an 8. This minus 8 belongs to a cube. And then, here, if we take out a negative 9, then here is a minus 2. Faster, 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 faster. A cube minus 8, it can factorize very, very, very successfully. Mm, here. It is a minus 2, since 8 is 2 cubed. And then times a squared plus 2a plus 4. Don't forget, here is plus, not minus. And then minus 9 times a minus 2 is equal to 0. Hmm, so long. I don't like it. Then, of course, a minus 2, we can take it out. So, a minus 2, and then times, here is a squared plus 2a. Plus 4 minus 9 it is minus 5. It's equal to 0. So then, how many cases do we have? Of course, 2. The first case is equal to 2. Hmm. Not interesting. However, the second case is a little bit interesting and it is, of course, a little bit complicated at the same time. If a minus 2 is equal to 0 and a squared plus 2a minus 5 is equal to 0. For the first case, we have the most simple solution. a1 is equal to 2. For a second case, maybe you want to check the delta and you hope that the delta is negative. However, when it was negative, then this question wouldn't be so hard. The most interesting thing is that delta is positive. And the irrational negative 1 plus or minus square root of 6. <laughs> a1 is 2. Hmm, I like it. A2 and A3 are crazy. So then, how many cases do we have, of course? Then, we have three cases. Or, how to write it? Our first case is when a is equal to 2. Of course, for our second case and our third case, you can solve them yourself because they have the same method. Now, I'm going to show you how to solve for this kind of system of equations. Here, you will get if a is equal to 2, and we can get x plus y is equal to 2. x times y is 1 second. So then, what should we do? Of course, our goal is to find the values of x plus y and x minus y. x plus y, mm, here it is. Here is it. x minus y, how should we find out? I have a check. We know that x minus y all squared. It can be written as x plus y all squared minus 4 times xy. By using this formula, we can get the value of x minus y. You can get that x plus y all squared is 4, then minus here is 2. So x minus y all squared is 2. So x minus y is square root of 2 or negative square root of 2. x minus y is equal to root 2 or negative root 2. Then, for each of these cases, x plus y is 2. So then, solve for the values of x and y. Then, this is our first case. Of course, we also have our second case and our third case as well.
there when a is equal to negative 1 plus square root of 6 and when a is equal to negative 1 minus square root of 6. Then solve it yourself. The rest of the work, do it yourself. Do you get the method and do you get the trick? Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more videos, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!